Absolutely. Because you're replacing things that, you know, you might be craving, you might be used to it, but they're not um, doing your heart any justice. They're not helping you out. Where these replacements absolutely will make a difference in improving your heart health, for sure. Okay, so let's start with mayonnaise. That's generally yes. not very good for your ticker. What are our options here? Other spreads? Right, yes, absolutely. So um, Greek yogurt is an example, right, of a replacement, having some hummus, having some avocado, maybe even adding some pesto as a spread. Like these are more healthy alternatives because when it comes to mayonnaise, you're getting, it's mostly made up of egg yolk and soybean oil. So without even um, meaning to, you could be getting up to four grams of saturated fats just from having some mayonnaise. So these are definitely some healthy alternatives, especially if you're just looking to put something onto a sandwich to give it a little bit more maybe moistness. <laughs> Can I say that? You I love you know what? I love the word moist. You go right ahead. <laughs> I use it all the time and everyone else can cringe as we smile. <laughs> I That's have to right. say, you know, I did a little swap seas the other week. I subbed out some sour cream and used Greek yogurt for a dip, and it was delightful. So it can work. Absolutely. I do that all the time at home, and no one knows. Sometimes I have to put it into the sour cream container, mm -hmm. but it still works. <laughs> Fooling the children and perhaps the husband, I feel, is what is going on in your home. Uh, yes. This next one, though, Dr. Joyce, a bit of a challenge for me. So subbing out fatty beef, and you're saying fatty fish, that's tough yes. because I'm not a fish guy, and I think you hear that a lot. Oh, absolutely. So um, increased consumption of red meat is linked to heart disease. We know that the pathway that red meat is processed in your body leads to this one fatty acid that causes inflammation and it causes inflammation in your arteries. It increases blood pressure. It increases cholesterol. So we do need to lean into that omega-3 pathway in our body. So we need to consume more omega-3. That's where the fatty fish comes in. So if it's a once a week, twice a week, I highly encourage that you lean into the fish. And if not, then you really, in my opinion, should be supplementing with an omega-3 supplement. Personally, I'd rather just cut the beef out rather than subbing in the fish. I'll do the supplement so it can work. Um, yes. Snack time is what we're going to talk about next year. A lot of people love the chips, the potato chips, the nacho mm -hmm. chips, all of that. And you're saying sub in nuts. Now, can you add, yes. can the salt be on them though? Or do you have to <laughs> get rid of that? It's it's best for your sodium because sodium increases mm. blood pressure. It's best if you are going to substitute those nuts that are not salted because it's going to sort of conflict with lowering blood pressure. Um, but the nuts in and of itself are going to provide you with some healthy fats and also fiber. And you're not getting fiber in a handful of potato chips. Now, I am very much a salty, as you can tell with that question. Not so much <laughs> on the sweet side of things. So yes. this next one for me is an easy one, and that is sweet treats out and add in dark chocolate. I'm a fan here. This is okay, but this yes. can be really tough for some people people with that sweet tooth, it can be really challenging to try to get yourself away from all of those packaged and processed treats. So, you know, that provides a lot of sugar, but it also usually provides a lot of unwanted saturated or trans fats into your diet, which we know are unhealthy for your heart. So if you're swapping over to a dark chocolate, not, you know, it's going to have less sugar, but it also has what we call flavino flavanols, and these help to lower blood pressure as well. But you need at least 70% dark chocolate. So mm -hmm. that's what you should be aiming for. 70% or higher is going to give you that health benefit that we're touting that dark chocolate can.